funny story, I think, how you ended up in Swage. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, it was a bit, of, a, bit of, a bit of luck, really. It was the right place at the right time sort of thing, you know. It was like, if I'd been anyone else or at any other stage in my life, I, I wouldn't have gone for that job. So, um, you know, it was, just, it was just a bit of luck, and it clicked, you know. It was, like, it was a godsend, divine intervention, it was. And, um, and we all clicked, and that's how, that's how it happened. It was funny at the time, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Is it true that you found the job through an advertisement? Um, well, not really. It's just it, it was just general news, you know. I mean, everybody knew that, um, that the, the band were looking for another another member, and you know, and I just wrote off to their um, their, their fan club, as it were, you know. And um, I got the address for that and sent off the tape, and it was you know a bit of luck that it was any good, really, because I wasn't sure whether it was any good. But. But what's your story? How did you end up in this band with these? This motley crew of sailors. Well, um, I was in London, just down the road from uh, where they were recording uh, demos for the new album. And uh, I just happened to, because I knew, I know Simon, I knew Simon because uh, he's my cousin. And uh, so I knew the band anyway. I just went down to the studio and uh, started playing around on uh, the piano in the studio and um, I got invited down to uh, rehearsal and uh, listen to their new material and uh, sort of got ingested into the band that way, really. If you ignored our pleas for him to never ever come back. Someone told you before you joined the band that you're actually going to be in the best band in the world, maybe? Would you believe them? Um, yeah, because I was, I was an arrogant little sod back there, and I would have said, yeah, of course I am. Really? <laughs> um, no, it's just, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's self you know. If you're as arrogant as the both of us, I mean, yes, we would have reckoned that we would have been the best band. It's a dream come true, really, though. So, no, we wouldn't have believed it, but it's um, really quite good. Frank, it's the singer that's been playing a lot on Finnish radio and TV at the moment. A short story about Trash. Uh, well, when it first started, it was a completely different song. <laughs> it, was, it, it depends if you want an anecdote or... Yeah, please. <laughs> and it changed, it chopped and changed, and it took a long time, actually. It was one of the last songs we recorded for the record, and it seemed to wrap everything up really nicely. And it was the last song we got together out of all of the ten and it's, that's why it's got such a, like, a, a fresh sound, because we virtually went into the studio and said, right, you know, we've got, like, we've vaguely got a chorus for this, you know, we've got a little bit of a verse going on, but no, we've got to do it. So we just went in there and, and just bashed it out, you know, and then, like, it was in a couple of weeks that it turned into this, this um, archetypal coming up song, which is, you know, why it's the first single and the first track. And it's great, it's a live favourite as well, even though people don't really know it, you know, which is good, because it's that sort of song. Then it's working. Mm. And it's working title with piss pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a story behind that, I think. No, there isn't, actually. I couldn't think of any other word. <laughs> <laughs> it's where Richard wrote it. <laughs> Totally true that the mood of the record is completely different, you know, virtually the other end of the scale, just because it's, you know, the mood is like utter jubilance. You can tell right from the first the first track, which is a new single, track, and it's, it's just like, from then on in, it's kind of like a celebration of, of everything around us. You know? And it's, 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 it was the sort of record that it was easy to make because of the mood in the band was so, you know, so upwards, you know, looking, reaching for the sky sort of thing. You know? Oh, we've done very well. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Could you point out the reason why you are so upgoing in a good mood on this new record? Is there something special that happened? Yeah, it's just the way the way that the, the way that the song has got written and the way the band works. It's kind of like there's, there's a sort of a, 
um, a magic there. You know, we got we got the um, we, you know the magic that created all those those um, ten songs on the record and the B sides and everything as well. And um, that's just like that. That is a, a magic that needs to be celebrated. I think because you know not many fans get it. So, um, you know, a well-oiled footballing machine. And um, than, than it was before. You know, it's it's good to have uh, three as well because uh, while two two of them are arguing, the other one can go off and write a song. So quite a good number. <laughs> I get inspired by losing card games. But really, you know. You lose a lot? You lose, lose a lot. I lose all the time. <laughs> Terrible. Money or just the games? I was just in matches. He plays in matches. Everything. I always end up naked at the end of flights. Because, um, you know, we play sports. Well, that's what I'm going Think, actually. Only as much as people think, actually. Only as much as when you get up in the morning, you think, oh, how, how do people get up and imagine these people? It's just like, you see things too. You don't imagine, oh, well, I'm going to be seen by this many people. People have always thought the suede are obsessed by their image anyway, and then they're not. You know, we're obsessed oh, we are. with our music. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. No, so there we're, we're obsessed with our own music, That's uh, if that's a bad point, then that's true. But, um, Imaging up is something that's um, it's, it's, it's worth making an effort in a, in a photo or on stage to look good and stuff, but um, it's not the be all and end all of it because no one remembers the photo, but people do remember a single. You know. mm. No need. While Blair was still